Take a look at this comment. Thanks to the name above that suddenly get money back from scammers. So, a certain Nathan Tech 70 on Instagram helped someone to recover their money from scammers. And here's another comment. Thank you for being a great example of leadership to me. I got the $20,000 last night. And the best hacker, Authority Jack, helped someone earn a whole $20,000. And here's another one. And another. And another. And another. And this is only the comments on our channel. I'm sure you see similar comments on YouTube all the time. On this guy's channel. And on that one. And on this one too. But in truth, all these comments, they're a scam. And we can actually support this statement because we've carried out our own investigation. We wrote to several such individuals. We took screenshots of all conversations and played the fool in order to expose them. And in order to check their honesty until the very end, we even paid one of them for the work. In the next 20 minutes, we'll tell you how to play cat and mouse with scammers. They thought they were playing us, when in fact the joke was on them. Let's start with Nathan. It would be much easier to write in the comments Thank you Nathan Tech 70 from Instagram than to write Thank you to the name above. So why have they done this? Well, the author of these comments obviously knows that they are spamming in the comments. And of course, usually, channels block spam. <sighs> For example, the owner of the channel can insert Instagram into the list of blocked words. To get round this blocking, hundreds of accounts are created with links in the username. The same goes for other typical signs of spam. Caps lock. Well, why shout? And emoji, emoji, emoji. In short, this should already be a sign of spam. Let's get to know Nathan. We went to his Instagram. He has almost 1,300 followers and 81 posts. And in general, it looks like a normal page. So what does he do? As he writes himself, he recovers access to different social media accounts, to Instagram, to email accounts, to Facebook. By the way, there's often big problems with English in these posts. For example, Gmail instead of Gmail. This should also be a warning sign. Most scammers, as a rule, have pretty bad grammar. Let's take a look at these posts. Anonymous hackers, crypto, some men at computers. Clearly, they are trying to impersonate hacker groups. In general, he tries to come off like a cool hacker. Although with such a guise, he can probably only trick children. Let's send him a message. Now you'll see a real conversation. This is a screen recording. We made out that some scammers stole the password to our Steam account. Hi, can you recover a stolen account? My Steam account has been stolen. Could you help me? Yes, I can help you. Send me the picture of the problem you're having on your account. Send me the link of the account and make it fast. It was stolen. My password doesn't fit. I do not know how it happened. He's ready to help me, but he convinces me that I need to buy some kind of magic flash drive. It's okay. I will help, but I do charge for service fee. Payment will be charged for the purchasing of the fitted equipment needed before I can proceed further. Equipment? What do you mean? Urban software code. I don't know what it is. I don't understand anything in this area. Can you tell me in more detail? This is what I'm talking about. Our partner says that he has a friend who sells these flash drives, which have a special code for the hacking of any social media account. And these flash drives are, apparently, single use. So in order to get back into your hacked accounts, you need to buy one of these magic memory sticks. Are these flash drives? Yes, it is used for hacking down accounts. If we get one of these, your account will be recovered. Does this flash drive contain some kind of hacking program? Can't it be bought online? Yes. I contains the software used in hacking down lost and disabled accounts. To convince us that he is a real professional, Nathan shows a screenshot of some website. Now look carefully. This is not just a screenshot from the internet. In the search bar is a link that Nathan Tech 70 received from us. This is alarming. But how can we pay? Pay attention to the fact that he asks us to send payment as family and friends, and then asks us to send a screenshot as proof of transfer. He also constantly pressures us to send the money faster. Where will you order this flash drive? How soon will it be delivered to you? It will be delivered today. My agent is close by. I don't work with people far from me, and we need to start the process ASAP. And also tries to convince us that he will definitely return our account to us, and all this is 100% legal. Is it legal? 
Yes, it's legal. As soon as we get the software code, everything will be solved. Mom, you know I don't really have time. Of course, it's obvious that no money should be sent to him. The signs of a scammer are there in vast numbers. For example, on his Instagram accounts, the first photo on his page is dated from the 27th of March 2022. So the page is pretty new. And what about this certificate? Certified Ethical Hacking. Courses in ethical hacking do genuinely exist, but it seems like there's something not quite right about this certificate. Look carefully at the text. There's a link to a website visible on it, diploma-degree.com. Let's have a look at it. The site doesn't work anymore, but if you Google the web address, then it's obvious that this is a fake degree builder. Seriously? We decided to randomly check a few other photos on the page. It was easy to find the original sources on the web. This is a photo from an article in 2016, and this is a screenshot from a video from the YouTube channel of an Indonesian hacker who has three subscribers. And do you remember the site which he showed us in our message? The interface seems familiar to me. Such videos used to pop up on TikTok. Bingo. The site address is even visible here, although it doesn't work anymore. We found a similar site. It's super simple. I'm going to try to hack a page on Facebook without the help of Nathan Tech 70 I know the email address which is linked to the page, and I know the password to it. Let's begin the hack. See, to get a password, you need to click on one of the four buttons below. All four links lead to third-party sites which are offering questionable services, but I won't use them. The fact is that email displayed here does not actually match the one to which the Facebook page is linked. This is 100% a scam. Nathan asks us to let him know when we are ready to make the payment. Take note that he has changed the email address associated with his PayPal. I would hazard a guess that in this way, he is either trying to pressure us or he creates new wallets because the old ones are blocked for fraud. Okay, mom, when is the possible are you making the payment? Because I will need to change my PayPal mail. Then we stopped contacting him and Nathan began to harass us. He sent us a message three days in a row. A day later, he finally bothered to ask us for the email attached to the Steam account. Let's give him the silent treatment again. Hello, mom, do you still need my help? You let me know. Send me the email you linked to the Steam account. A day later, Nathan Tech 70 has still not calmed down and now his messages have taken on a slightly angry tone, telling us that we should let him know if we no longer require his services. If you're not interested, let me know now. I won't bother myself on you case, okay? Okay, bye. In the end, he writes, okay, bye. Apparently, he finally realized that the fish had slipped off the hook. Now we're going to move on to another scammer. His name is Legit Bills, and he sells fake documents. Here is his spam comment. Hi there. Just to let you know, I have received the passport and state ID you made for me, and I'm very happy with them. Thank you for such a super smooth deal. I will be back. Legit Bills prefers to conduct his business over Telegram. This is a very convenient way of communicating with scammers, because it's possible to delete not only your messages, but also the messages of your partner. So, we asked Legit Bills to prepare a German passport for us. Hi, can you make me a German passport? I saw in the comments on YouTube that you're engaged in the manufacture of passports. Yeah, I'm. Depends on the passport you want. Is it scannable or unscannable passport? In return, you'll need to pay 1,500 euros, plus payment in Bitcoin, complete anonymity. Scannable passport is the best because if it gets scanned by the official, it will go free without any issue. It's just 1,500 euros. What kind of help do you need from me besides payment? And where can I transfer the money? I will need your infos that will be applied on the passport. That's all I need from you. Passport is made by Bitcoin. The wait for the passport is 72 hours. The scammer promised to send it by post. It's simple and easy, Legit Bills assures us. He reminds us that forging documents is his business and he would never try to deceive his customers. How long will it take to prepare a passport? Will you send it to me by mail? It doesn't take much time. Just in 72 hours you getting it. And I will need your receiving address. That's where I ship it to you very easy and simple. Cool, but how can I be sure that you won't deceive me? 1,500 euros is a lot of money. Deceive you about what? This is my business that I've been doing for so many years. I'm going to show you what is called a scannable passport. Seeing my doubt, Legit Bill sends a video of a document that he allegedly made. He will subsequently delete this video, but we managed to save it to our phone. 
Legit Bills calls his business legitimate and says that all his previous clients were satisfied with the documents they received. I'm only in for serious and legit business. All those who receive their passport from knows I deliver the best ID. Now, I wonder at what point the payment takes place. Legit Bill says that he needs to receive the money first in order to purchase some software and other materials he needs. Yo, you have to make the payment then I do your work. I have to purchase some software and tools to make your work done. That's why I have to receive payment before proceeding on work. And in the next 24 hours after payment and receiving your details and all that, then I will show you what you pay for, which is 100%. This is a risky transaction, so we agree that we'll transfer 1,000 euros as an advance payment. This suits him because it's better to get at least something. Sounds dangerous. Maybe I will pay for the software and the other things that you have to purchase. And when I see that you have bought them, I will give you the rest of the money? Let's do it this way. If you did not believe me, then pay up front, which is just 1,000 euros. Then I will purchase. All I have to do then after you see what you paid for, then you balance up. Legit Bills convinces us that he can't start work without receiving the money, which, in general, makes sense. Now we're going to speak to one of his former clients, so they can confirm that Legit Bills isn't a scammer. Can't just execute your assignment without receiving any upfront from you, that's impossible. I understand. Maybe you have clients you have worked with before and were satisfied. Can I talk to them? I'm afraid to send such a large amount of money to a stranger. This is an illegal business. Who will be happy sharing their contact or stuff, so they can give contact to them for assurance about illegal business? If it were to be you, would you be happy I give out details about you to others to contact you? But his answer is pretty predictable. He admits that his business is illegal, although he already assured us of its legitimacy. Nobody who has fake documents is going to want to talk about it. Legit Bill sends another video showing a fake passport. To finally win us over, the interlocutor sends several screenshots showing thank you messages from customers. Maybe it's Photoshop or bots. Notably, the upper part of the screen, where the current time is located, is cropped. Most likely, these pictures are just blanks for the more scrupulous customers. Please note that these messages were sometimes received just 10 minutes apart. Wow, they write to you almost every 10 minutes. Some paid asking for packages and some received showing gratitude. It's normal, daily routine. He also sends us a couple of completed passports. By the way, the scammer actually sends us these photos with all the personal data video. Yes, the details are blocked out right now, but that's because we did it ourselves. If we were undercover police officers, then we could already have caused a lot of trouble for his clients. However, we think that these people don't exist at all. And here's why. We tried to look for photographs of these passports online, and bingo. Google search once again helps us out. You can see on DeviantArt.com that a certain Tom Joni uses his photograph as an example of his work, just like legit bills. However, it seems to me that Tom Joni also stole this photo from somewhere. He has too many services in his profile. Pay attention to the date of the post, December 2021. A short search leads to a website for the production of documents. Judging by the website, the passport that we received was not just made by some guy who makes passports at home, there's a whole company doing it. We did the same search with the next photograph that Legit Bill sent us. We can see that he stole this photograph too. Most likely, the person who we're speaking to actually has nothing to do with any business that forges documents. He pretends to provide such services and perhaps a few people take the bait. Here's one more spam comment that caught our attention. I've been suspecting my partner for a long time, until I requested 4192 Victor on IG, who helped me hack my partner's social media and cell phone with a certainty proof. You can always reach him out via 4192 Victor on Instagram. 4192 Victor offers a whole array of services, such as hacking social networks and the opportunity to receive an additional income. His Instagram page is full of video appeals from people who have left extremely positive reviews about him. The reviews are from all different countries, in different languages. Teenagers aren't just praising some abstract hacker genius, they call him by his nickname, 4192 Victor. Victor Hacker perché è il miglior servizio. Totally. He most likely found these teenagers through an ad, paid them a few dollars, and they then learned the text by heart and repeated it for the camera. 
The page also displays a number of screenshots of messages from his satisfied clients. There aren't many posts considering that the Instagram account has existed for two years already. Strange that in this time, 4192 Victor hasn't been blocked. We told Victor about our desire to earn money, but we added that we only have $50 at our disposal. Naturally, he offered to double the amount for us. I heard that you can help get some money. Can you help me? Lady, welcome to 4192 Victor page, where your interest is maximally served. If you are seriously ready now, in less than one hour, I will recover your money back to you. Which country are you from? I'm from the UK. I don't have much money, but I want to make money. How can you help me? Lady, I am a professional investor and risk management with 10 years experience. I can triple your investment in less than three days if you are seriously ready now for my service. I have $50. What do I need to do to at least double my money? Is there a way to earn with such a small amount? Lady, I will help you out with 50 USD. I receive Steam gift card or iTunes gift card or Razor Gold card as payment. You can purchase the card from the store in your country or I can send you a link to purchase the card online. Once I receive and confirm your payment in less than one days, I will double the 50 USD 100 USD. And I promise you after my service you will recommend me to your friends and family for more service. The fraud scheme is simple. Victor asks you to buy a gift card and offers you a choice between a Steam gift card, an iTunes gift card or a Razor Gold card. And when can I get $100? Will the payment be made to my card or account? I still don't understand how it works. Once you make the payment now, in less than one day, I will request the card details to transfer the money back to you double. I always wonder, why do people fall for this? Do they not for a second think, why should Victor do business, publish ads and take money from someone if he can actually double any amount? Why doesn't Victor just sit and double his own money? Victor doesn't disclose his email or any personal data. That's why the scheme uses gift cards. The code for activating the card comes to our inbox, we send Victor a screenshot, and he simply activates or resells the card purchased with our money. I have already told you earlier, once you make the payment, you will receive PIN codes to your mail. Screenshot the codes here on my page. The codes is your payment for my service. We ask, in what miraculous way will he double our money? He replies that he trades Forex together with a team of brilliant traders and allegedly invests our money and doubles it in a day. So, we decided to send Victor 50 euros. We were well aware that we'll never see this money again and that Victor is 100% a fraudster. The main reason that we spent this money is so that you can see with your own eyes what will happen after you, God forbid, send money to any of these scammers. You'll see how they will refuse to fulfill their side of the bargain and how they'll explain this away. We bought a Razor Gold gift card. Here's the email with the codes that we received. We took screenshots and sent them to Victor. I did it! We send him the code and... And... And he actually didn't immediately block us, as we assumed. Look, he asked for the details of our card in order to transfer the $100 tomorrow as promised. Great. In less than 124s, your investment will be double. Send me your bank details. I'm so happy! I will be looking forward to my money. Send me your banking details. We definitely don't recommend that you send your credit card details. In any case, never tell anyone your CVC, which is on the back of your card. Most likely, Victor will not be able to access a bank card having only its details, but many of these people then sell this information to carders, criminals who make copies of credit cards. But we're one step ahead of him. Let's generate some card details. You can easily find a generator on the internet. Just type in the necessary parameters and get the data. If Victor really wants to transfer money to us, he just won't be able to do it. Then he'll send a message to let us know about the problem. But something tells me that this won't happen. Visa 41692450 Name Brianna Soto, United Kingdom, 10 2026. Sorry it took so long, I'm at work. Okay, great. Please just exercise patient. In less than 24 hours, you will receive the increments. Thank you, wonderful. I'm waiting. In spite of our concerns, Victor does not ask us for our CVC or PIN code. He just asks us to be patient and wait for $100 to arrive in our account. The next day we can still write to Victor. He is still in touch and responds to our messages. The next day, he assures us that we will soon receive our return on investments. Allegedly, Victor trades on the stock exchange from Canada and will soon send us money. Let's just wait for the specified time. Hey, what's up? 
Lady, you know we are in Canada different time from yours. We are still 9am, and we are trading Forex for your investment. You wrote that I would have to wait less than 24 hours. Time is almost up. Lady, I know. I am using Canada time to trade your investment in Forex. Please, in less than 4 hours, your account will be credited with double your investment. Thank you. When the time comes, 4192 Victor contacts us and informs us that in order for him to withdraw our investment income, we need to deposit another $100, and then we will receive $300 to our card. Lady, congratulations, your payment on investment will still be confirmed, because the Forex trading between Germany and United States is still floating. Your investment is showing 90% already. Once it got to 100%, my investment team we put out your return on investment. But for the investment in the Forex market to pull out, so I can transfer your return in investment. You we have to put more 100 USD. Once you put more 100 USD, then we can now withdraw 300 USD to your details. Please you really have to make the 100 USD, so the total money can be withdrawn double back to you in less than 3 hours. Once you make available this 100 USD, your investment will be 100% complete and the double in investment will be transferred to you. He makes mention of Forex and an entire investment team. Most likely, this is a template message that he sends to everyone in order to squeeze even more money out of a gullible person. This is what all scammers do. Realizing that a person has trusted them, they will milk them until he comes to his senses, his friends bring him to his senses, or he runs out of money. Give me back my $50. I believed you and you deceived me. In response, we demanded the money back. And, of course, we didn't get anything. Victor began to claim that $300 is the minimum amount he can withdraw. Lady, I am a man of integrity and impeccable capability. I deliver as promised. Your money is in the system. Please, I know how you feel because I am a human as well. There is nothing I can do. Because the least amount that is allowed to be withdrawn by the system is 300 USD. That is why I pleaded with you to add 100 USD. So the total money with interest would be 300 USD, as allowed by the system. Please, I plead with you to understand me so I can put smiles on your face forever. You should have warned me in advance that $50 is not enough. Give me my money back. It was the last money I had. I will write complaints about your accounts. And then, he blocked us. Hi? Huh? Of course, if you find yourself in such a situation, you can report the scammer's page, and so we did. But remember that Victor's page is already two years old. There have definitely already been complaints, but Victor continues to trick people. Every year, all around the world, people are scammed out of millions of dollars. Reports from the US Federal Trade Commission show that scammers are increasingly using social media to trick us. In 2021, one in four people who reported losing money as a result of fraud indicated that they had encountered fraud online. In total, over the past year, US citizens handed over $770 million to fraudsters. Let's summarize the results of our investigation. What unites people who make money via scams? And how can you protect yourself from them? First, carefully study the profile of the individual in question. If it is new, or there are few photos and comments on it, it's most likely a fraudster. Secondly, there's no such thing as free money. Just accept it. Only scammers can make quick money if you fall for their tricks. Thirdly, most likely the fraudster will try to make you rush into paying for the product or service you are interested in. He may even try to call you. And finally, whatever happens, never transfer money to strangers. Well, we can say, always think for yourself and treat any offers as easy earnings as critically as possible. This is your main defense.